Hello and welcome to At Your Service. My name is David Hawksworth. I'm your host and I'm here with Brent Curtis, who's the Environmental Education and Enforcement Coordinator. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're here uh, at the General Services Building today and uh, we're going to talk about something that's kind of concerning to uh, some of the landfill employees. And yes. that's uh, the case of battery fires at the landfill. That's correct. So tell me what's happening with that. Um, well, last year um, they saw an, a drastic increase in the number of fires at the landfill. Like um, what, a thousand percent, wasn't it? Something yeah, like typically that. they'd get one to two a year. Last year they had 22. Oh, wow. And um, doing research, they were able to determine that at least 15 and possibly up to 19 were directly um, contributed by lithium batteries being in the landfill. Okay. So, so the batteries started the fire. So like rechargeable batteries. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. So what happens to make it flammable or uh, give it? A, it's a, yeah, a couple of different things. Um, the batteries, although they might not be able to power your tools anymore, or your phone, or your hearing aid, whatever it might be, they still hold a charge and can do so for several months. Hmm. And so if they're in the landfill and they come in contact with another metal or something, that can cause a spark and that can cause a fire. And then just crushing them can also cause a fire, um, which is a problem if you're throwing them in your trash and you can actually set a trash truck on fire. Oh, wow. Just because it's compacting the, the trash and right. um, it crushes them and it causes a spark. Just and, when it comes into contact with some metal or something like that? Yeah, it takes very little to get it started, so. Wow, wow. And um, yeah, that's, that's very concerning it, when there's a fire at the landfill because there's several miles out of town do they have to call the fire department to come put the fire out? Or? Yeah, they call the fire department, uh, but their initial, they start the firefighting themselves. So the oh, landfill okay. staff are first on scene and they start fighting it as soon as they possibly can and then they wait for the fire department to arrive. Okay, so at least they have some basic equipment to, yeah. to get started on that. Well, mm -hmm. that's, that's good. Um, yeah, that, that also probably has an effect on um, the environmental impact of things. Yeah. Well. Because the lithium ion batteries, they contain toxic chemicals. They're not supposed to be thrown away. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they do break or if they, let's say they don't even catch fire, if they start leaking over time, mm -hmm. now you're adding um, toxic waste into the, the landfill. So that can cause an issue even further down the road. Um, so yeah, your, your lithium ion batteries, anything that's rechargeable or says lithium on it, mm -hmm. it's best to take to the uh, hazardous household waste facility here in Salina. Okay. Uh, and they'll make sure that's properly disposed of. Okay, okay. So anything rechargeable like uh, lithium ion, yep. nickel cadmium. Yep. Um, what other kinds of batteries? And let's see, it's uh, lithium ion, nickel cadmium, and nickel, uh, it says N-A, or it says N-I-M-H. Okay. And then also uh, watch batteries and hearing aid batteries are also lithium ion batteries. Oh, so, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, um, that's good to know. Um, what about regular household batteries? As long as they're alkaline, those you can throw away. Okay. Uh, those, just your typical double A's, triple A's that say alkaline, they don't hold a charge like the lithiums do, mm -hmm. and they're not a fire hazard, and uh, they're not a ta toxic waste hazard either. Okay. Um, what about the, like the rechargeable double A's and those kinds if, of things? Anything that's rechargeable, you should dispose of at the hazardous uh, household waste facility. Okay. All right. And where is the uh, uh, household hazardous waste facility at? Uh, yeah, it's right here in Salina at uh, 315 East Elm Street. Um, their hours are, uh, there's someone there every day of the week, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. Um, they're open to the public on Thursdays from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then the first, fr I'm sorry, first Saturday of every month, they're open from 8 a.m. to noon. Um, but if you have something you need to drop off, you can always call, make an appointment. Someone is there Monday through Friday every week, so. And uh, Derek is very knowledgeable over there, yes. so. Yeah, I've learned a lot from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so rechargeable batteries, do not go in the trash under any circumstances. Correct. Take them to the household hazardous waste facility. Um, so that's a good guideline to know. Mm -hmm. so. uh, and there are certain places around town that do 
Well, well, let's say if you had a rechargeable battery for a power tool, like a drill. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to Lowe's to pick a new one up, a new battery or a new power drill, they actually have a drop-off facility there where oh. you can recycle your used batteries there for power tools. Okay. So yeah, check your local retailers too. If you're going to the store anyway to buy something, uh, they may take those as well, but you'd have to check with them locally. But um, if all else fails, we can take them at the HHW. So. Okay, all right. Well, great information. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't. I had no idea about the retailers taking them. Too, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, speaking of solid waste and stuff, uh, you guys are looking for committee members. Yes, the uh, Solid Waste uh, Management Committee for the County of Saline um, is looking for members. We currently have, uh, I think, six, uh, and we're supposed to have up to thirteen. Um, permanent members, mm -hmm. uh, and then two youth members, okay. so a total of 15 overall. Um, they go through, when you look at our plan uh, every year to how to improve uh, our solid waste management okay. uh, for the county of, uh, of Saline County and the city of Salina. Mm -hmm. And the committee that sits on the board um, basically goes through our plan, makes suggestions, and approves our plan, and then we send it off to the Department of Health and Environment. They approve it. and. Um, and that's our plan, and that gets revised. Um, we look at it every year, but it's officially revised every five years. Okay, all right. And I've, I've kind of skimmed through it uh, a couple of times, and, and there's some really innovative stuff going on in, in, the, in the plan. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to do everything we can to uh, improve uh, the county and the cities um, to eliminate as much waste as possible that goes into the landfill, to make the landfill last for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah. There's one thing I learned um, doing research for these kinds of shows is that uh, opening a new cell in the landfill is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It boggles the mind uh, is how much money has to go into it. Yeah. And uh, we right now have set aside areas for a new cell. I'm not sure when the new cell is going to be uh, opened up. There's something they're working on right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an expensive <laughs> endeavor. And uh, so the longer you can make your landfill last, the better it is for not only the environment, but costs as well for the community. Right, right. Okay, so if you live in the city, um, if you live out in the county, uh, you're eligible for membership on that committee? Yes, we're actually looking for uh, county members most right now. Okay. Uh, we do. Most of our committee members are in the city of Salina, so we're looking for county members because it's, it's the county's plan, um, and it's just that the city is the one that um, administers it. Okay. So if you live in Asaria or Gypsum mm -hmm. or Smolin, yeah, any of the small little communities, or if you're just out in the country. Okay. Good to know. All right. Uh, anything else we should know uh, about solid waste at this point? No, we've covered just about everything, I think. Okay, all right. <laughs> Something new will always come down the pipeline eventually. But <laughs> yeah. We'll be back to talk about yeah. it when, when it does. So. Um, all right, well, Brent, I really appreciate your time today. Oh, I appreciate your time, and thank you for having me on. Yeah, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on At Your Service.